Hello everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play episode 78. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to build our watermelon and pumpkin farm. Um, right now I'm grabbing some melon seeds to do so. And if you haven't watched any of the uh, other episodes, any of the other Minecraft episodes this week, um, you may not know. Uh, on these three episodes, Adventures from Craft included, plus the other episode of this series, um, I recorded them uh, with my settings wrong so my audio ended up not getting recorded and um, and so I'm talking over the pre-recorded video now and um, and yeah so while I'm getting some materials together in the video right now I want to go ahead and talk about some stuff if you guys watch Venturesome Wednesday I talked a lot about computers and I really want to continue that conversation because what I'm trying to do because um, what I'm trying to do is uh, is I'm trying to just push through these videos today get all my talking done that I need to so I can finally get them rendered, get them off my hard drive, and tomorrow whenever I get time to record again, I can uh, I can continue making videos and not having to basically do these all over again because I have to talk over them. Um, which is lame. But uh, but yeah, that's that. This is the kitchen we built last episode, if you guys didn't see that. I think right now we're going to look at our bedroom that we built last episode as well. Um, and it turns out real nice. Oh yeah, right now I'm building... Um, this is a little addition to our pillars on the second floor, trying to make it look better. I don't know how well it's going to end up working out. I think it's a nice little touch, but I think it looks a little Asian um, as far as like the architecture style of it goes. Um, but we'll see how it works out. Might keep it, might not. I don't know, but this is the thing we're trying. So, And then we go work on our melon farm. So today, I'm not going to focus on it too much because all we do is build our melon farm and we do this thing that we're doing now. And, um, but I, w I want to talk about computers some more. This is going to be an in-depth conversation about computers and my knowledge of said computers. In the Ventures from Craft episode, I talked about how, you know, I I've been wanting a new computer for a long time. And I, I know a decent bit about computers. I don't know everything there is. Um, I know a decent bit. Um, and then I kind of started talking about the things that I don't know. And for example, one of the things I don't know, I actually hear a zombie coming up the stairs right now in the video. Yeah, <laughs> I heard him open my door. Them sound horn skills when playing a lot of CSGO. Um, <laughs> but yeah, back to the topic. Uh, what I don't know about computers is on the topic of like motherboards. I don't know that much about motherboards. I don't know what's a good motherboard. I don't know what classifies as, hey, this motherboard is this. I know like you should check like this it will this support my graphics card that I chose and that sort of thing um, and and I usually check for like okay does it have enough connectors for the th type of things that I want the peripherals and sort of things um, and that's usually what I check for um, but then again I don't know that much about motherboards I may know everything there is to know about motherboards but but I just don't know <laughs> that I know every I don't, I don't know um, but uh but yeah, I um, I uh, I've been wanting to learn more about that, and um, and I probably will after I finish this episode, um, go check up on stuff. I'm literally recording this right after that last finish some craft episode, so that's why I'm still on the topic of computers, because I didn't I wasn't able to finish my rant about computers. <laughs> um, you know, another thing I don't know, for example, is like video cards. I know a good bit about video cards and like what's what, like. Like, okay, obviously the higher the numbers, it's better. And you should know what is considered in a certain series. Like, like I think the newest AMD video cards, for example, are like the RX9290. Not, I'm messing up the numbers. It's like the R something 290, right? And most people would look at that and they'd be like, oh, that's a really low number. And then they would look at like the, the HD7750 and they'd be like... And they'd be like, oh, that's a higher number. That must be a better video card. But in, in actuality, it's not because the other one's a newer card and that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, um, but what I don't know is, like, the difference between CUDA cores and, like, the other thing. I can't remember what they, they call it. They call it something. They call it, like, I can't remember now. I'd have to actually go look. It's called, like, pro something processors. Like, like, um core process I can't <laughs> I can't even remember honestly um there are certain little things I don't know like like about like cache on RAM I don't know the difference between cache on RAM um I don't know if RAM speeds actually matter I actually looked up something on RAM speeds a while ago from Linus Tech Tips 
and he actually explained it very well, but I can't remember. I would have to go watch the video again to uh, to get that explanation. Um, I think I think the RAM speed depends on like how, because what RAM does is it holds information, and then and then it like once it maxes out, it dumps it, and it dumps what it doesn't need and pulls in the new stuff that it needs or something like that. And uh, and RAM speeds, I think, is how fast it can dump and acquire new data. I think, I think, I might be wrong, but I think Woody's Gamer Tag used to do a good series on it too. It was called Tech Tuesday, and it was a very, very nice series. Um, it was very helpful. One time he explained the difference between um, it's called what is it? It's not. It's RAM. And then there's the RAM that's on the Xbox. It's called like a EDE RAM or something like that. Um, and he explained the difference between that about how like there's, you know, I don't know, <laughs> I can't remember. Um, I'm trying to think. It's hard to remember. But, but yeah, he, you know, he had a very good series on stuff like that. Um, and some other things I don't know, like, like I don't know anything about caching on, um, on processors, like. Like if you tell me the the MB cache or whatever is is this, I'm like okay, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means, um, and it's like I wish I did, but I don't, uh, and um, and yeah, so I wish I knew those kind of things. I really should research those and update, and that you know, like I have a general idea, like okay, the i7 is definitely better than the i5, but I couldn't look at two different i7 processors, and other than price and the numbers tell you which one is better based off of their cash or <laughs> or anything like that like I couldn't I don't know those sorts of specifics when it comes to computers um, I get kind of lost at that point and um, right now in the video I, I'm making this but I don't remember how long it has to be so <laughs> so you'll see me stumble here a little bit as to as to how long it's supposed to be and I can't really remember but but I end up figuring it out so um Oh, okay. Uh, what are some other things about computers that I want to talk about? I want to talk about a lot of things, man. I could really go in depth about um, a lot of things and just my personal knowledge of them and, and what I do know and what I don't know. Um, one of the things that I... Uh, I... Uh, lose my train of thought again. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. One of the... Um, What am I trying to say? I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, okay. Um, actually, no, I lost it again. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let me let me talk about a little bit about peripherals, okay? Lately, I've been getting into Counter Strike, right? And and the big thing in the Counter Strike community, if you watch anything regarding Counter Strike, people talk about the Zowie mouse, the Zowie FK1. And it, it looks like a really nice mouse, and I'm getting getting into CS:GO. So when I, when I upgrade computers, I don't know too much about mouses. I'm gonna learn a little bit more about them, but I'll probably end up going with that mouse just because when I play CS:GO, I want it to be good, and I don't really need a decent mouse for anything else that I play. So I figured, well, if I get a good mouse, might as well go with that because it'll be good for CS:GO. Um, it's like top of the line right now for for what CS:GO players use and what I've seen, and it'll also work on anything else that I play. Um, <clears throat> So, um, you know, like, for example, with peripherals, I don't know anything about peripherals, really. Like, like you could tell me the DPIs of mouses, and I don't see what kind of difference it makes. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand why you would need this, an 1800 DPI on a mouse, or whatever. I don't know if that, I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I don't know what it correlates to, like, as far as... Does that mean how fast it it reacts or how fast it? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't have no idea. I really don't. Um, is that how sensitive it is? What what is it? I don't know. I <laughs> see. So, yeah, there's a lot of things regarding computers that I don't know about as far as like that goes. Um, I'd say what I probably know the most about would be probably would be video cards like I understand the models on video cards and I can tell you like oh yeah this this is definitely better than this um, or uh, or that sort of thing mostly because of the people I watch like I wouldn't know what the top of the line cards was if if I didn't watch certain people um, 
Uh, and it's going to be weird when I get a job and, I, and I'm able to get a new computer and I start looking into better peripherals and better things to try and make the channel better. Um, one of the things I'm, I'm worried about is going into the mic world. Um, because there's so many different mics you can get. And, like, I'm telling you guys right now that whenever I end up purchasing a new mic, I want to go top of the line. <laughs> I really do. I want to go top of the line. I don't give a shit if I have to spend $500 on a mic. I'm going to do it. Um, so, so I, like, I need to get into the mic world <laughs> and learn about these sorts of things. Like, I don't understand what makes a mic better. I don't understand, like, if you look at uh certain certain aspects of certain mics um i know a little bit about it just because of what uh what is gamer tag and mic talk on pk um i know a little bit like it, it's very minimal um i know like like i like i've seen a lot of people in the youtube community especially like they'll use blue snowballs or or they used to blue snowballs or blue yetis which which are good car, I mean, are good, uh, good mics, but, and they're definitely, you know, top quality, top quality mics, but they aren't, like, the, it's almost, I don't know how to describe it, um, it's almost like they're, I don't want to say a step behind, but it's almost like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it really, but as far as I know, those aren't, like, those definitely aren't top of the line mics if you see people with those um but if you see someone with like a i don't even know names their numbers i, I can't even i don't know man this, this tech world man is is confusing as shit uh, <laughs> um like uh like uh man i <laughs> i don't even know i don't even know like i don't know the difference between like AMD processors and Intel processors. Um, I know like you could get like for, you know, cheaper than than like an Intel i7, you could get a, you know, a quad core i7. You could get a uh a freaking octa core um uh AMD processor. But what about but the i7 will still be better. And my question is, what about the i7 makes it better? I have no idea. And I know this 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 topic is going into a very weird, strange place that, and I don't know what I'm really talking about. Um, and I'm talking about what I don't talk or what I don't know about. And I'm kind of making that clear and obvious. But I just feel like doing some tech talk today. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's interesting, man. I don't know. Um, but yeah, when I build a new PC, man, I'm thinking. I'm thinking when I get a new computer, like I'm, I, like I told, I talked about it a little bit last episode, but I'm definitely going i7, um, newest i7s that that came out. Um, Poldu linked me to them, uh, and so I'm definitely going with those. As far as graphics go, next um, on the build, I'm gonna go 780 Ti. Uh, currently one of the best cards out. Um, 16 gigabytes of uh, of RAM. Corsair Vengeance RAM. Um, I don't know why. I just like Corsair Vengeance. Like it's like I just prefer it. Like I don't. I don't know. I just like it. Uh, I. I don't know. I, for some reason, I have this weird allegiance in my head to Corsair. Although, although I've never really tried too many other. Like currently, the RAM on my PC is G Skill, but, but um. But yeah, I don't know why Corsair to me just has a nice ring to it, and usually their stuff looks really nice, like. <laughs> And this, it's, it might be a little stupid, but, but, I mean, that, that's a big thing for me, actually. And actually for a lot of people, um, is, you know, the, what something looks like, you know, because you could have the best RAM in the world, but if it looks like a little blue piece of shit that you <laughs> throw on your computer, then people probably won't like it. Um, but if it looks really nice with the nice, um, what do they call They're called, like, heat and they're called heat vents uh whatever the things are on the um on the rams like they're almost like casings um <laughs> i'm getting a little bit out of my depth here and i'm starting to sound like i don't know what i'm talking about whatsoever um but i promise you i do know a little bit 
like I said before, though, I know a little bit. I don't know too much, but I do know enough to get by. I know how to build a computer um, and all that sort of thing. Um, and I could definitely put together some parts list. But, you know, right now I'm kind of... T and this is really more of a, a video for me to kind of acknowledge what I know and what I don't know so that I can evaluate it and say, hey, I should go here and try to learn this or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um... Right now in the video, I think I'm confused on where to go. I had to set off the next thing. Um, or I think I got it wrong. Or no, I was explaining how it worked. I will go ahead and explain how this, this redstone contraption works. Um, the uh, if, you, if you've never seen one of these, um, basically I built one last season. And I got the idea from Doc M77. Um, and uh, basically what it does is a... A uh, daylight sensor powers redstone, which powers a piston with a block on top, a sticky piston. And whenever it powers that block, with the, and it also powers a sticky piston, it sends a pulse through that repeater right there, which turns off that torch, turns on the other torch, turns on the top row of uh, of redstone dust, which and it will activate some pistons to push out the, the things, and at the same time, whenever it activates that block, before the piston extends, only sending a pulse... And when it pulses that block, which turns off the first redstone torch, it will also pulse um, a redstone track that the card is sitting on, which will power it, send it across, and it will collect anything that drops from the um, from the farm. So, yeah, that's how that works. Uh, I'm about to fall asleep right now. <laughs> I'm talking so much, I'm about to fall asleep. Um, I put myself to sleep while I'm talking. That's probably not good. Uh... <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't fall asleep. <sighs> okay. Um, but yeah, very interesting tech talk today, man. <laughs> oh, man. it's um, I could ramble on for days about it. But, you know, basically the whole point of the conversation was just to kind of talk about what I know about computers and what I don't know. And basically kind of how excited I am to get a new computer. Um, I'll go ahead and go over my whole parts list again. Uh, I'm going to go i7, newest i7s. I don't know which one yet. i got to look at them. Um, probably the 4, point, uh, the four gigahertz quad core. Um, I can't remember the name. Um, Poldu sent me it. I can't remember. Um, I'm going to go with 780 Ti graphic card. I don't know what brand or anything like that. I'm going to have to look around. But I definitely want to go 780 Ti. Um, just because it's you know top of the line. Uh, I'm going to go 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um for now. I figured that would be a good a baseline, I guess. And then and then I was thinking of getting a motherboard that would support up to 32 at least so that in the future, you know, it's it's room to upgrade. It's room to uh <laughs> so that if I ever need 32 gigs of RAM for whatever, then I will have to, I, I can do that before I ever have to upgrade my motherboard. Um although technically 16 is kind of overkill now, you know. Um 32 would definitely be overkill. It's just in case I ever need it. Um, and so, yeah. As far as the motherboard goes, I'm not really looking for anything too specific. I'm looking for... I at least want to have several hard drives. I'm going to have my OS running on a SSD. And I want to have at least... Um, as far as memory goes, I want to have at least... Uh, at least... Um, I don't know. Maybe I want to say 10 terabytes, but that's a lot. So 6 would probably be more bearable. I'm going to start off on 2, um, just because of price. And then later on, as I get more of the money, um, just to get the build going, you know. And then later on, as I get more of the money, I'll add in hard drives. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I definitely want to go 6. So, you know, need, need a case that supports at least, I'm going to say, up to 4 hard drives. Um... And, uh, and I'm, lo you know, it's the processor, I don't know, I probably get water cool it, um, which I actually want to look more into water cooling, because I don't know how complicated water cooling is, um, as far as I know, like, you could get the simple Corsair water cooled th systems, which, you know, only take, like, um, which only take, like, uh, you know, you, 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 uh, you fill the radiator with water, you bolt it to the top of your case, 
and then you you connect it with a processor on the um, on the uh, on the uh, on the motherboard, um, and then you know the water flows through it obviously, and it needs like a power connector I think, and um, and so yeah, it's pretty as far as I know that's about as simple as it goes. Um, it could be a little bit more complicated than that. I don't know, honestly. Um, I would try to be extra careful and make sure I look up how to properly install water-cooled systems um, so that I don't ruin anything. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll more than likely go water-cooled. It really just depends on what people recommend. If people recommend that you don't need it water-cooled, I'm probably just going to go with a big aftermarket cooler um, and probably add some extra fans within the case. And... Um, and so, yeah, whenever we build our computer, it's going to be a monster. <laughs> like, it's going to be a fucking monster. I'm, I'm looking to spend around uh, uh, f anywhere between 1500 to $2,500. So, yeah, when we build our mo computer, it's <laughs> it's going to be a monster for now. Um, and, and it's going to be definitely amazing. My friend just recently, he spent $2,500 on a computer. And um, he went the water cooled route, uh, 780 Ti, and um, and I may try to. I'm, I'm gonna look at a motherboard. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I'm very specific about my motherboard. Um, I might end up spending a lot of money on it because I might. Because I, what I'm worried about is cooling, and I'm worried about the motherboard. Um, I'm gonna try to go with something that uh, that. Uh, that allows for me to, if I wanted to in the future, to um, go multiple graphics cards. Um, so if I wanted, I could be like, you know what, I'm just going to hook up another 780 Ti here. <laughs> and then, you know, run SLI 780 Ti's and uh, and then have my processor. So I don't know, I might end up just water cooling it and then attaching a bunch of fans. So that, so that if I do end up extending graphics cards, it'll be... Could you imagine? That'd be such a dope PC. <laughs> like, if, if you had a i7 quad-core, one of the brand new i7s, you know, 4.4 4 gigahertz running water-cooled with two 780 SLI 780 Ti's, um, it, uh, and you had, like, 32 gigs of RAM. <laughs> That'd be such a dope PC. Um, I'm probably gonna go very high-speed RAM as well. Although it is more expensive, I feel like it's necessary to make that jump. <laughs> like, I just feel like I should. And if I'm going to spend that much money anyway, why not, you know? Um, so, although it might add more money onto it, I'm definitely going to go that route. Um, as far as, like, first first hard drive, definitely going to be 2 terabyte. Um, first SSD, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking probably just smaller on the smaller side, like 225. Something like that as far as space goes. Um... And, uh, cause, cause I don't see why I would need 500, a 500 gig SSD just to store my operating system. Um, it seems kind of pointless to me, but I could be wrong. I mean, I could be, I could be really stupid in saying that. I'm pretty sure, you know, there could be weird things that I don't know about, about as far as that goes. Um. I just realized that I forgot to power the tracks on in this video. <laughs> so that's whatever, but but anyways, we pretty much got this up and going and running and, and it's it's working fine in the video. And um I'm glad we got it going so that we could get our potions going soon. So next time I need to use those to uh to get some levels going in the skeleton farm. We can do that. And uh yeah, the episode, let's see. We still have some time left. Uh, I feel like I'm about to die talking right now. This is my third episode in a row talking for 30 minutes. So I've been talking for an hour and a half straight now. It's very hard. Recording three episodes back to back isn't hard. But doing just the audio back to back is very, very difficult. <laughs> it is. Um, that's why I got so big into the conversation about computers. Because I didn't have anything else to talk about. Um... But yeah, whenever we build our new PC, it's going to be really dope. Um, I've been wanting to build a PC for a long time, and I've, I've waited so long is, is why I've decided to spend so much money on it. Because I'm like, well, 
you know, because originally I was going to go around seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for a build. I was going to go real cheap, but it was going to be, it was going to be all custom PC with a nice processor and everything, and it was going to be, it was going to work. It was going to, you know, and I can upgrade from there. Um, and then I ended up moving around to a thousand dollars, and then re just recently is when I said, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and double that. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and top, go ahead and top of the line, you know, whatever I need to do. And that's not including peripherals either, because right now my monitor is a old monitor. It's only like 60 hertz or something like that, um, and it's uh, it's kind of old. It's uh, I, I don't know the aspect ratio, but the resolution is 1440 by 900. Um, so I think that's a four by three aspect ratio. I think I could be wrong. Um, so definitely it's uh, and it's not even HDMI I think it's a VGA cord display whatever um, and so yeah that kinda sucks but uh, whenever you know uh, we build a new PC I'm also gonna get two new brand new monitors um, I said two new brand new monitors <laughs> I meant to just say two brand new monitors um, I'm gonna go as far as resolution goes I'm gonna go 1920 by 1080 um, I'm gonna try to make sure they're HD monitors at least go 1080p. Um, with the recent updates that uh, Google's talking about to YouTube and how they're gonna update to 60 FPS um, and stuff like that, uh, I'm really looking forward to the new computer so we can get that going as well. So, you know, we'll be running at a at 1080p most videos, 60 FPS. Um, we'll have a we'll have a monster computer dual monitor set up we can start streaming we can start doing all these other things and it'll be really nice I'm really I'm really excited to to not be constricted um, and also we'll start doing console stuff um, whenever I get a job and I get my PC built and everything you know from there on out I'm gonna have to start saving for school because because I don't I don't want to work you know menial jobs for the rest of my life so I do want to do some sort of schooling afterwards but I am focusing on a computer first um, which might not be the smartest idea, but but I want to keep the YouTube going. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the computer first. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm gonna build a new computer, uh, and then you know I'm start trying to save a little bit. But I am gonna spend some. I'll try to get a new. I'm gonna try to get a PS4. Try to get a capture card, so that when ga the games, certain games come out, you know we can play those like like Metal Gear, and Kingdom Hearts, and get a Wii U. So when Smash Brothers comes out, we can play that. We can play all kinds of things, um, and try to get all of that going. Really, um, try to get a 3DS and get a capture card put on it, so that when um, so when uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire come out, or whenever you know, really, because once we start going through the Pokemon games and we start getting up towards Diamond and Platinum and Black and all that, we need a we need a we need an actual emulator on our DS and 3DS. So, um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. There's going to be a lot of things coming. Um, recently, we just hit our one-year anniversary mark. I know you guys probably watched the update a few weeks back. Um, but I'm hoping by the end of our two-year, you know, we, we had decent growth during our first year. Um, kind of inconsistent videos. Only recently have I been, you know, extremely consistent um, within the past few months or so. So, I, um... And I'm even adding more to the schedule. I'm updating everything. I'm updating all my tags. Um, and I'm honestly trying to make an honest effort to to do the YouTube along with doing it well. And um, and yeah, so I want to just go ahead. I know this. I know this episode's very rambly. I know. Oh wow, the video ended. Whoops. I've been talking a little bit over. Um, but I just want to go ahead and thank you guys. I know I already thanked you guys in the update video for the. For the one year anniversary, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. <laughs> um, I just want to thank all you guys who do watch me for your support. Um, I'm looking forward to a lot of things. I'm hoping by the end of our second year, we'll be a larger channel with a new computer, better quality videos, and everything else. And uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and this is it. I finally don't have to voice over anything. No more rantiness. I'm sorry for the rantiness. Hopefully the other videos that weren't weren't needed to voice over this week aren't super ranty and they turn out really well. So <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you guys.